Hi, I'm Daniela O'Neill and I'm a professor of child development at the University of Waterloo. Today I want to tell you about the board game Hannah Honeybee, which is part of the My Very First Games collection by Haba. And this is one of the games in the board game lending library for young children at Kitchener Public Library that I helped to develop and curate with them. I was so excited when this game uh, came out fairly recently in part because a library had just installed some beehives and so there was a really neat connection between this game and other things that children could do at the library. And so let me show you how to play this game. This is a game for children as young as two years of age and it is a cooperative game so you are playing as a team against the goal in the game. As is the case with some of the HABA games, the box itself actually becomes part of the play and the box which you can see here looks like a beehive uh, is going to be where we put the pieces in the game and it will stand vertically. But I'm first just going to take the pieces out and what we have is a honey jar with sort of six circles on it there is our Hannah Honey Bee wooden piece. There is our die, which uses colors, which of course are easier for the youngest children than having numbers on it. And then there are these flower pieces. And as I said, this is going to become part of the game. So we will need this beehive. And what we are going to be doing in this game is trying to fill up our honey pot with honey before we run out of flowers to get nectar from. So we have here some flower cards and these get put out onto the table surface. And if children want to sort them, they can. At certain ages, children really love sorting things. So that can become part of the setup of the game and part of the game itself. we've got two yellows here. There we go. And then game play begins by rolling a colored on the die. And here we see we've got a red. So the first thing to do is to find the red flower. And the children can do this in sort of a pretend play way almost. They can fly Hannah Honeybee to the red flower where Hannah can get some nectar. Then Hannah takes the red flower to the honeybee hive and puts it in. And watch what happens. This is so ingenious, I think. Out comes the honey because the card flips its side as it goes through the hive. And so here you can now put your honey in your honey jar. And so you already have a little bit of honey. Play continues like this, but if you get this, this is a wilted flower, that means that the flower has no more nectar left. And so you have to pick one of the flowers to turn it over and take it out of the game. And we keep going. Oh dear, another flower has wilted. And you try to see if you can get your honey jar full of nectar before all the flowers are gone. And if you don't, you can always try again. So here, for example, we don't have any more blue flowers, but you just continue playing to see how far you get. And this is the type of game that, of course, a child could also play by themselves and have a lot of fun playing with and just turning into its own type of pretend play. And that is Hannah Honeybee from Haba.